Hello, Internet. I have another quick kata solution for you. In fact, I have three solutions. Three. And I'm going to start with a with, with, I, with what I think is the most basic one. But I'm getting ahead of myself. First, let me introduce this kata. We have a 7Q kata that is a challenge called list filtering. Instructions are, in this kata, you will create a function that takes a list of non-negative integers and strings and returns a new list with strings filtered out. So for example, if we have the list 1, 2, A, B, the result of applying filter list is 1, 2. I'm going to start with my most basic solution, which is simply to create a new list for item in for each item in L, the existing list. If and now this is the part where I have to have Python figure out whether a given item is an integer or something else. So for that I use the type function. If type of item equals int, int is a built-in type in Python, so I can just type int and Python will know what I meant. New list dot append. That means take the new list and add an element to the end of it. Item. And then don't forget to return the new list. Otherwise, the problem will complain that it expected answers and it just got none for answers. So let's do a quick test run of that. All right, worked as I expected. And the full test, it works as well. I could press submit and be done, but instead I'm going to show two other ways that might be kind of fun to solve this one. One of these ways is going to use a list comprehension. And that allows me to do this on a nice, cute one line solution. I can return um, x for, I'll type it and then I'll explain it. x for x in L if type, type of x equal. All right. Check that I did that right before I try to before I explain it. Yeah. Okay. Good. So this is a list comprehension. If you don't know what they are, I, I'm sure there are great videos out there on it. But it it works basically like it sounds. Um, it gives you a list, and in that list is a list of each x for x in the list L. If the type of x is an integer, it 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 pr practically reads like English. And we saw that that worked. I'll do the official attempt too. Okay, that's that. Now one more. Now one more. Um, this one. This one's gonna. Well, I'll just again. I'll. Here's another cute one liner. One liner. Return filter of with a function of with a lambda function type x equal int. Did I get that one right? Let's run it. Oh, I, I forgot that I have to cast it as a list then. All right, there we go. Now what's happening here? I'll start from the inside. I have a test. I have a statement, or is that an expression? Anyway, I'm comparing x, type of x, to int. And I have a lambda function that takes some item x and runs it through that comparison to return true or false. And then this filter function takes each item in L and based on this lambda function determines whether it belongs in in the belongs to get through the filter and then finally cast things as a list because that's the form that Code Wars is looking for, 
and there we have a one-line solution. Now for people who got tri tripped up by this last one, I'm going to write it in a slightly different way that may make it more plain what's happening. I'm going to say define is int of I'll do var for variable, just any variable. If type return true, else return false. I'm being very explicit in the way I'm writing this. Functionally, it'll be the same. If anything, it'll take longer to compile and run because there are more lines for it to deal with. But the nice thing is, I think this is the right syntax here. I put my, f I could put this is int function in here and L for the list. Let's see if that's right. Yeah, okay, I got, I, I got that right. This does the same thing as the lambda function did. This little function here has the same func has the same functionality as that lambda function I wrote, but it's on a bunch of lines instead of on just one. Okay, I think we've done enough with this problem. I encourage you to see if you can think of another, maybe a, maybe a more complicated way of solving this one. Otherwise, get out there and solve some Cold Wars challenges. Have a good day.